you know, this is a 20 year story. This is something that developed with a, a really crazy idea that turned out to be very impactful and can change people's lives for the better. I had to stop playing football because, you know, the doctor said I couldn't take any more large hits to the head. One of the big reasons why I came to Vices actually was because I had three years back to back to back where I had head injuries. Um, a lot of traditional helmets would be a hard polycarbonate shell with foam or some sort of uh, other impact mitigating material on the inside. We were using very outdated, like antiquated equipment. At HRL, our mission is to provide differentiating technology to our customers. We had worked on a program with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, and that was looking at soldier protection systems, low or high velocity impact protection for a warfighter. HRL innovated some of the fundamentals of impact absorbers going from foams to an architected impact absorber. Being able to find a partner that had prior experience creating kind of this micro lattice or very fine tunable, but new structure that offers all these benefits. Uh, that was really the draw between Vices and HRL. We demonstrated sort of the promise, right? That you can tune the behavior of the micro lattice by changing its architecture ever so slightly in specific locations and whatnot. Vices has taken that to the point where they're actually looking at the specific application within a football helmet in this case. Micro lattice, it opened up flexibility to be able to really kind of tune outside of traditional materials. You could think about the micro lattice as being kind of like a foam, but now instead of just a bunch of bubbles that, that just show up wherever they show up, you now have control over the specific force versus displacement response. Then because you're, you know, 3D printing it, you don't just say, oh, we just changed the density of foam over here or whatever. It's like, we're gonna change the, fundamentally change the response of the foam in this specific location on the helmet. The great thing about micro lattice is you have so much freedom in how you design it. You can change angles to be able to mitigate linear accelerations or change those if there's a specific location that you need to more mitigate rotational accelerations. So the flexibility of fine tuning that design for whatever impact location or application is really kind of what advanced micro lattice. Right now we've got some of the best talents on the NFL performance test. So it shows that we're always continuing to try to push and be number one. They've taken it quite a long ways from where it started. From, you know, the initial idea in a lab to, you know, a product out on the market. We can quickly print something that is perfectly matched to a player's head. And the response has been phenomenal. When we actually get a 3D printed pad set that we put on somebody's head, they're like, I know this is made for me. It fits my head perfectly in the contours and the contact. And it really makes the player more comfortable, more confident. And what we've seen implementing micro lattice and the matrix helmet, we've actually seen in some locations as much as a 25% reduction in some of those forces. So that's what we're trying to do here at Serator Sports and with Vices and Shut is pushing the envelope, bringing new technologies to make sure that we can keep up with how the game is evolving. I think, you know, we take an immense sense of pride in developing things, not only that people can use, but that improve their lives. And this is the same thing. Anything that you can do to improve someone's ability to walk away from an event that they might see one, two, ten times in their life, but is an adverse event, want to do that.